Every MA consists of a core course, a compulsory core course, which is what students take in their first terms, and which introduces them to a whole range of methodological and historiographical problems. And then they can choose three optional courses. And there they ha can really tap into our very broad expertise in the department. And they write a dissertation on a topic of their choice with under supervision and with help from members in the department. One of the real strengths about Birkbeck's MA teaching, I think, is it's, uh, it's very research driven. So all of the courses that we teach are really closely related to our, our interests and our active research. So there's a lot of scope for bringing in things that we're working on the field, um, new data, new problems and new documents into the classroom and letting people experiment with them in a sort of laboratory style environment. We have a really kind of strong cohort of MA students as well, both full-time and part-time, and a number of those are students who have just come out of university and want to take the next step. Um, others have had a break uh, and come back to education uh, and want to start with the MA. And actually, I can think of examples for both of those students who've then gone on after the MA, having discovered that this is really what they want to pursue, who've gone on to do PhDs with us and very successful at that. It's very structured, so it's modular, so you do a bit of this and a bit of that. We need one with a term paper at the end of it. So that's quite, quite structured and interesting, but it's also got that element of deep reading and research and an introduction to research in it as well. I think the staff's ability to uh, facilitate the conversations that, that occur in seminars and their ability to kind of balance the subject matter and the kind of critical thinking that's required at a postgraduate level is, is really impressive and you don't really see that they're um, facilitating those discussions until you think about it later and realise that they're directing the conversation in a really intelligent and, and productive way. But I think that's part of the fun of it. You're working with people who are themselves researching on something that they're probably teaching alongside or working with you on that. Some of their teaching assistants or people who come in to do sort of guest slots, maybe working with them on research fellowships. The purpose of tonight is really to show you the range of options we have on offer next year. We've run, for the first time this year, we've run an options fair, um, really to give all current and new MA students a flavour of the exciting range of subjects that they can choose from. So we're introducing every single option that's on offer next year. Currently we're running 15 MA programmes and in each MA programme students sign up first of all to their core course, compulsory core course, and then they can choose three optional modules. So for example students signing up to uh, European history can take options on the Holocaust, on Soviet Russia, on a number of um, interesting topics in that broad field. At Birkbeck we teach quite a few MA options so that people can choose the one that really fits their particular interest. I mean, for example, I teach an option on gender which looks at um, gender in modern Britain and America from the 19th century to the present. So it looks at things like suffrage movement, it looks at sexuality, it looks at um, childbirth, a lot of really, really interesting issues. What is fantastic, I think, for students here at Birkbeck is that we are so close to wonderful, fantastic resources, libraries and archives. I mean, in particular, of course, we've got the British Library, which is very, very close. We have the Welcome uh, Library, which specialises in the history of medicine and history of science. So these are really within a few minutes walking distance from Birkbeck. It makes it a really, really exciting place to do an MA. That then has knock-on effects for the value of... At the moment, I'm teaching the City of Rome course, and I work on Rome in the early Middle Ages in particular, but the nature of Rome is that you have to look at what came before and what came after in order to make sense of it, because it's a deeply stratified city and idea and place. So I am bringing in quite a lot of new archaeology and new research into the long durée, that is the long life of the city of Rome, into the classroom. And so students get to pick certain sites and certain areas and look at them, look at what happened in antiquity and look at what happened through the course of the Middle Ages in order to get a sense of the history and development of the city.
Bedburg is a fantastic place to do a PhD. Um, you, we have some of the world leading historians here who the students will be working with. Beyond that, we have a hugely vibrant student community. We've got about 100 research students here at Birkbeck at the moment um, who work together and support each other as well. Um, there's a huge range of interests um, that students pursue. Um, I'm a specialist on 20th century Germany, so at the moment I've got a student working on paint restorers in the Third Reich. I've got a student working on slave labour in the Third Reich. Um, I've got another student who's just finishing his PhD working on restitution uh, in uh, post-war Germany for German Jews. So there's a, there's a huge range of different topics and uh, one of the beauties of Birkbeck is that we have so many world-leading historians here um, who would be working very closely with the students.